Welcome to the channel. Today we'll continue our playthrough of Luftwaffe, Avalon Hill game, a classic game of aerial combat over Germany. And uh, we're going to do turns one, two, and three in this video and uh, show you the uh, process and the slow moving bombers you're going to see here pretty soon. But um, fun game. Hope you're going to like it. Let's get right into it. Germans are going to move their time marker to turn number one. Okay, so during German, German turn number one, I really don't see any need to move anything to take off and to bring anything forward. Um, I mean, I suppose I could take off this ME-109, these, the 109 the 110 there, um, bring them a little bit forward, but I may want them to go this direction too. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four. So they can make it over here in two turns. So I think I'm going to leave. I'm just going to leave everybody uh, on the field there. No, no reaction yet. We'll wait and see what the Americans are going to do. So German turn number one is done. Okay, so the first thing the American is going to do is reveal the raid marker. We're going to have a raid coming in on turn number three. So two turns before that comes in, I have to reveal if there's a raid coming in, what turn it's coming. On the next turn, I have to reveal what number hex the raid's coming in on. So it'll either be six, seven, eight, or nine. And all I'll do is I'll just move this to whatever hex number it's going to be coming into. The German now knows that turn number three, I have a sneak attack, sneak raid coming in over here. So down here, everything's going to move towards the target. So referring to my bookkeeping here. These B-17s want to go over in this direction, right over here. So they are going to move into here, one, two, and three. Now you cannot fly into Switzerland, so don't even think about it. Can't go. So we're going to head on over this direction. Now here's a factory right here that we are going to hit right away. So in the next turn, I'm going to drop a B-17 off here to bomb this one. So this is group number six heading out that way. Group number three is going straight up into this area right here. So group number three, there's one right there. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get that one. Oh yeah, that's group number four is going to get that one. So group number three is going to go one, two, and three. They'll, they'll cross over the next, next one. These P-47s are going to come out here and wreak some havoc if they can. One, two. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, can't quite get there, so they'll just stop right here. Uh, these P-47 here, they're going to go right here also. Maybe right here. So group number four. Group number four is going to drop off one B-17 to bomb that and two three one two three so we're going to hit these two with group number four so the germans are going to have to get on us rather quickly to prevent that from happening that's group number four group number five is heading further up um, to go to swizefers i think and then um, go to there so these, this group here is going to go one, two, and three. One, two, and three right there. And then group number one is also going to head straight up. One, two, and three right there. And these P-51s are going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. As a matter of fact, they'll both go on top of each other to create a little bit of a barrier there. These P-47s are going to come out on turn number two. So, or P-47 and P-51 are going to come out on turn number two. So that, that way, they're in the air. These P-51s here, they're going to take off. And uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
So they're going to come out and sort of intimidate these guys. This is B24, one, two, three, four, and it's heading towards muster is where that one's heading towards. Okay, so this is my movement. I'll go ahead and mark everything on uh, the timetable because we know that all of these aircraft took off, so they're all going to start using fuel. So it's pretty easy because they all took off on turn number one. Okay, so the Germans now are quite nervous and realize that we have a lot of aircraft coming in. So they, everybody probably is going to take off, I would think, except for maybe a couple. Well, I think a couple of these guys will too, because they know turn three is coming. So they want to um, make sure that they can stop the Americans uh, before they hit these two, and maybe that one too. So they'll probably take off too. These guys will probably come over here and help them a little bit. One comes down here, the other one goes that direction. So I think um, I will take off and have this one go one, two, three up to here. And I made these little pieces on my 3D printer um, to signify what aircraft are in the air and what aircraft are not in the air. So let's see. We'll have this 409 come on over here. Right about there. And takeoff doesn't cost you anything. Um, so we'll have this aircraft actually go right there. One, two, three, four, five. So he's in the air, just circling out of here. Okay, so I've moved these three here and um, I can, once these aircraft come into one of these spots, I could actually attack them out here before they come in. So I want to get some aircraft in the air over here um, to do any kind of attack that we can. Now, um, so to signify in the air, I made these little 3D printed pieces here and I just plopped them in there and that way it shows that these guys are airborne so that when I mark it on my um, sheet, I know that they're all airborne. Now, everybody's airborne with tanks so far. So down here, I think the Germans are going to attack if they can. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. I'll land on there. Okay, so as you can see, everything took off. So I'll mark that on my log here. And also we have an attack that's gonna go on to the bombers. Now, as the Germans, you want to avoid um, the fighter aircraft if possible. Uh, you just want to attack the bombers. As the Americans, you want to attack the fighters as quickly as possible with your fighters. So, uh, you know, try to eliminate them. As the Germans, whenever you're in aerial combat with uh, another American fighter, you want to drop your tanks and force them to drop their tanks because that'll give you a plus two on the die roll if they don't. 
As the Americans, you want to keep your tanks on. Now Germans, when they attack bombers, they're going to keep the tanks on because that doesn't make any difference in the battle. So we'll resolve the combat here on the number four bomber squadron here. So we have two, four, six FW-190s attacking with their tanks on. Well, actually, they would have dropped their tanks. I think theirs is just four and three for their tanks. So uh, they only get one extra turn with a tank. Yeah, so they're actually attacking without tanks. Not that it makes a difference on the bombers. So they are six attacking. And let's see what our die roll is. And it's a three. So I look on here, FW190 with six attacking with three, and that's two. Two of them are hit. So on the bombers, the damage has to be taken for each bomber. So the bomber is flipped over to its single side, which it can still bomb. And it looks like we'll be able to get our bombs off the next turn. So before that uh, flips over, we have four bombers attacking or defensive fire back at the FW-190s. So we will roll the die for that one. And we have a five. So we have B-17s, four of them. With a five is only one. So one FW-190 is reduced. So we have one F-190 that is reduced here of these. And we will put them back in place here. And that was our combat for this turn. Now we're on to turn number two for the Americans. American time now is turn number two. Okay, turn number two, we'll start out with our sneak raid, and uh, we will let the Germans know that the sneak raid will come in in seven, someplace in seven right there. So the Germans now know that. And right here we know that the FW is going to be landing pretty soon, but we do want to get some of these FWs out of the way. The ME 110s aren't so bad. Our bomber first, it's going to take one, two, and three, because it's heading on over to muster to get rid of that. We don't want this FW-190 to jump on it. So we are gonna take all of our P-51s and attack this FW-190. So they will, they will fight that out here in a minute. Okay, so over here we have um, number one. So they're gonna continue heading. So our stack for the battle squad number one, or the bomber, our stack for the bomber formation number one has moved up to there with, well, we'll, we'll move our P-51s after we move all our bombers out of the way here. So group number five here, they're gonna also move up three. And three right there. Yeah, let's move these FW-190s off there first. And these bombers are going to go here and here and here to drop their bombs. Now, for this one to be successful, it has to, um, because it is a city, it, it, both of them are a city, so they have air attacks here. So we'll roll on the B-17 number 457 first and see what we get. And we get a one, so there's no damage there on the city. And the city only hits on six. And then we'll do a three, eight, one, that B-17 right there. And we have a two. So both of these have successfully bombed the city. And we'll signify that with one of our little red there and there. So those two aircraft factories I should say were successfully bombed and we'll put our FW-190s back here where they belong number 95 let's see number three is still heading straight out unfortunately we do have to go over a 
industrial complex or a city right here. So we're going to roll to see if any damage was taken. And it's a one. So no damage on those. So they are continuing on their path. Also, num number 97 did bomb here. Actually, it should be... Number 97 was part of four group there. It actually bombed last time. Actually, 457 should have been over there and 97 should have been there. So 97 should be flipped. Paperwork is important in this game. So make sure that we have it all correct. Yep. So this one also, uh, we have a city there. So we have to drop anti-aircraft and that's a two. So there was no damage to that one. And this B-17 has bombed that city. So, so far we have three of our cities bombed. Okay, so group number five is continuing to head on over this direction. Um, let's see. So number 34 of this group, one, two, right there, will bomb there and one, two, three. These guys just bypass them and they continue heading on over to these two. Now, of course, the Germans are going to know exactly where that's where they're going. So they're going to be wanting to do some damage to those guys. Uh, this guy here will take an anti-aircraft fire. Oh, a five. Let's see. Nope, he's still good. So uh, this one is bombed. So we have four of our objectives, the closest ones already taken care of. So now we want to um, do some damage with our fighter aircraft here. So let me see, we have ME-109. I'm going to go after this ME-109 and this one here. Both those guys are going to attack that ME-109. All right, so these P-51s here, they're both going to jump on this ME-109 right here. Now oh, they're both fire at, at they won't do no damage, but they'll, they'll both take, try to take these guys out. And I think that group is done. All right, so that is the Americans move right there. So we'll begin our battles with um, right over here, these this P-47s here. These two will attack the ME-109, so they're both three, so it's even. But the ME-109 is going to drop its tanks. So it's going to drop its tanks. Um, so the P-47s are not going to drop their tanks. They want to keep them on because they can still do some distance here. So um, they're going to keep their tanks. So they're going to be at a minus two. All right. So we have four units of P-47s attacking at a minus two. Oh, and we got a six. So that's not a bad roll. P-47s, four of them at a six, minus two is a four, so two damage. So, two damage, that actually takes out that ME-109. So they've actually destroyed the ME-109. Then on over here to this, the, we have P-47s and P-51s going after the FW-190s. So the P-51 will attack first. So there's two of them. They're going to attack. Uh, they're both the same evaluation number. But because uh, these don't have tanks anymore, because they only have tanks for one turn, they're attacking at a minus two. So the P-51 is two of them attacking at a minus two. And it's a one. So there's no damage there. So the P-47 is going to attack at a minus three. Wow. And two there, so that's probably nothing there. Let's see, P-47, two, three, zero, yep. So they didn't really do much of anything right there. Up here we have two P-47s going after an ME-109. The ME-109 is going to drop its tanks. So they have a four, so it's going to be a minus one because they have four to three. Uh, but because they drop their tanks, they get a plus, or they get a minus two on there so they're going to be a minus one so the p51s at a minus one four of them it's a five so that becomes a four p51s four of them at four is one 
so flips on over all right so not too bad really so now we have this group over here these are the p51s and they're going to keep their tanks on there's three of them attacking an fw 190 which has its tanks dropped so they're going to keep their tanks on because they want to help out up here and also here if needed um so we have six of them at a minus two and that is a five so the five becomes a three six p51s at three is two damage so that gets rid of the falk wolf is gone and our p51s are victorious now we're on to turn three for the germans Okay, so we're going to move the time marker to German turn number three. All of our ME 109s and FW 190s will be landing next turn. So we try to, we have to try and do as much as we can. Now we know that the Americans are going to come in somewhere here on turn three. So these guys won't be able to get over there in time. So I think for this turn, we should jump on this guy right here and try to eliminate him with everything we have, just like that. Let's have one, two, three, four, six, 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 so oh, it's gonna be like a Jenga. Six and six. So they will all be attacking that bomber group along with this one will also be attacking that bomber group. So we'll all be attacking that group. Over here, these ME 109s, let's see. We have that group going there, and we have this group right here. So we know that these two are probably gonna hit these ones right here. So they're pretty close, well, let's see. One, two, three, they can get to there, they can't get to there. One. So there's three of them. So one's probably gonna go further up here. So we're gonna let this group, we just don't have enough aircraft. Okay, so we'll take these ME-110s and they will, all three of them will attack this group. These ME-109s will attack this group right here. And that's the best we can hope for. Oh, let's move up here towards the sneak raid up there. Okay, so we know that they're coming in on this turn. Now the 410s and the 110, they have plenty enough fuel to last. So we're just gonna, in this FW, he's gonna come on over here and he's going to land. So every airfield can refuel these in one turn. So they have to stay there for at least one turn. I'm not sure if that counts the turn that you land or if they have to actually be there a separate turn. I'm going to have to double check that. So we know that the Americans are coming here someplace the next turn. These guys will at least be able to attack them. All these guys in the south there are attacking. So let's go to our attacks. All right, let's do this attack here first. So, so the both of them, the ME-109s will attack first because they are the better class um, aircraft so they always attack first so we have four ME 109s attacking and let's see what we have oh a six so that I think is going to get rid of that bomber four ME 109s at a six is three damage so this bomber is destroyed and this mission has failed all right so we have a stack here and let's see what all we have. Ju88 that's going to attack last. The Me410s. We have one of them. Me109s. We have three of them. So the Me109s um, have the highest rating, so they will attack first. They're going to get up against the P P38s. So the Me109s. Let's see. I think they are going to drop their tanks. Yeah, because they got to land next turn anyway. So, yeah, they're going to go ahead and drop their tanks. So, let's see. JG-53. So, we have six ME-109s attacking. Oh. 
and they have a one. So the ME 109s, um, we have six of them. That one is nothing. Okay, nothing. So the ME 410, there's two of them. They have a six. So ME 410, two of them at six is two damage. All right, so they've taken out the P-38s. So that means the ME 110 now can fire directly at the bomber group. So two ME 110s, we need another six. And we get, <laughs> we get a six. ME 110s, two of them at a six is one damage. So we have one damage on the B-24s, but we have eight B-24s will be firing back at him. So we will roll that. And they get a three. So B-24s, eight of them at a three is two damage. So they took out the ME-110. But the ME-110 did get a damage in. Now the JU-88 is firing at them, so we have two of them. They got a three, so let's see the JU-88, two of it, three, nothing. Nothing at all. Okay, so the B-24, so we'll put everybody back on this stack. We'll sort of just stack these guys. So the third bomber group here has ME-109s on it. It has two ME-109s on it. So that's four ME-109s attacking it. They rolled a three. ME-109s four at three is one damage. So one B-17 flips. So when the first damage comes, the American can pick out which one they want damaged. Um, but and once all of them go down to a single step, then the Germans get to pick which damage. So, if, so if, in other words, if they would have done four, I would have flipped all of them, and the German would pick one that they would eliminate. So what I want to do is see which one is going to the closest. So we'll flip number 95, because that's going to be the closest one. That's going to be the one that's going to hit the closest target. So I'll flip him first. So the ME-109, we get six shots, or six aircraft shooting, six aircraft shooting at him, and we rolled a six. Six B-17s at a six. Well, there's no six, so there's five, but six is two damage. So the German player elects to flip both them over. All right, and for our last battle here, we have ME-110s. We have six of them at this one bomber. So six ME-110s get a four. So six ME-110s at a four is three damage. So that actually takes out one bomber. So we'll flip them both over. And one of these is going to go, but we'll fire back first with our four bombers firing back. See if they do anything. That's a three. That's one damage. So one ME-109 flips to its single side. And so because I'm both German and American, we'll go ahead and roll to see which one flips. So uh, 99 is even and 351 is odd. And it's a six, so that's even. So 99 leaves. All right, so one bomber is gone from that group. And these ME-109s will all go back on it. All right, so that concludes German turn number three, which was somewhat productive, actually. On to the Americans' turn number three. Okay, so the American player now turns the time marker over to turn number three and we'll start down here with our bomber group number five here so let's move this out of the way so we have 351 which i think 351 is going to munich one two three these guys back here now of course these 110s can stay in the air for a while so uh, i'm just going to put both p47s on them 
try to get them out of here. So they'll be attacking those. And while we're here, I guess we should just do the attack. And that way we don't have to come back to it. So uh, we have four P-47s. There are seven. This is a six. I think they'll keep their tanks. So we have four of them attacking at a plus one. And we get a four. So P-47s for them attacking at a plus one. So it was, it was exactly the same. So it wouldn't have made a difference. So it's three of these. So here's one, two, and three. So we're down to one ME-110 that can attack that B-17 bomber there. Uh, this B-17 will start coming back home. One, two, three. And this one will come back. So this one goes off to that side. We still have that. This bomber, one, two, three. And this one, one, two, three. So they will be coming back. Okay, so bomber group number three. Yeah. Messed that all up. They'll move on. One, two, three. One, two, three, and one, two, three. All right, so they're gonna continue on their quest. And here we have, so they'll continue to attack them. So these P-51s, they'll come and they'll jump on the, see all of my P-51s still their tanks on, yes. So they'll jump on the 109s. So the P-51, P-47 will stay there. As a matter of fact, just the P-47 is gonna attack these guys. They're all gonna land here in a minute. We'll put that P-51 over on them. And then this bomber group here, number five, four, five, nine bombs, that one, two, three. P-38s will stay with them. This bomber is gonna bomb that one, so we'll roll to see if we get any damage from the anti-aircraft. Oh, five. No, nope, no damage. So, this bomber will bomb, and this other bomber is heading over towards here. These three are going up there. Bomber number one group here. So, we move these out of the way. And three. Okay, yes, this is the best direction for them. Okay. So, let's see. You were able to see the bomber group? Yes, just barely. So let's go on over a little bit here. So the ME-109s eliminated that bomber. So do I want to attack these guys or I don't think I do. I think I want to continue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But I do have to make sure. So I just have to make sure they can make it back across this line without losing them. So they only have a couple of attacks they can make up there. So our sneak attack comes in, it gets flipped on over, it's five. And our five bombers get put right here. So needless to say, the FW-190, by the way, if it lands, it can take off next turn. So this will be fully fueled, ready to attack. So I gotta get these guys, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, they can, they can help out a little bit. We'll see how much they can help out. Okay, so I think we have the P-47 here. One P-47 going against the Falk Wolf. So the Falk Wolf has his tanks dropped. So the P-47 does not. And he's not going to drop his tanks. So two of them firing at this guy. So he's a plus one, plus two, plus three, or minus three, I should say. So minus three on the die roll. We have a four, which becomes a one, which I'm pretty sure is nothing. No, a one is nothing. So no damage at all. But the three P-51s here are attacking the ME-109s. Um, they still have their tanks on. The ME-109s do not. So they're going to go minus two for the tanks, but a plus one for their evaluation. So it's basically a minus one. Oh, and they get a one.
So one minus one is a zero. So there's no damage at all from all those P-51s attacking. Well, that totally sucked. And then let's see, on over here we have two P-47s. So we have four P-47s going in for the ME-110. Uh, the ME-110 still has its tanks. Let's see, it's flying with its tanks. Yeah, so it still has its tanks. Let's see, does it want to drop its tanks? The P-47s have their tanks. So they drop their tanks. There would be a minus one to the P-47. So yeah, the ME-110 is going to drop its tanks. The P-47s attack at a minus one. And that's a five, so that's a four. So four P-47s at a four is two. So that gets rid of the ME-110. All right, so we did, so at least this guy will get to drop his bomb there. So that's good. But we did have one successful bomb here during the turn. So that's good. So now we're on to turn number four for the Germans. And we'll see what happens then. Okay, so we're at the end of turn three, moving on to turn four for the Germans. And um, so far the Germans have taken some heavy losses. They've lost uh, one, two, three, four, five, six aircraft so far. Most of them ME-110s, one FW-190, and one ME-109. So they still have some powerhouse um, aircraft left in the air. Uh, we've bombed, the U.S. has bombed uh, five cities so far. Um, probably going to bomb the sixth one next turn for sure. And maybe a seventh. Uh, once we get to eight, we pretty much have it uh, a draw. Um, we have our sneak raid coming in. Hopefully they don't do too much damage to that. And we can get uh, some bombing over there. The P-51s will hopefully get over there in time. Uh, to help them out some and um, other than that I think I think it's looking pretty pretty decent for the Americans this turn a lot of aircraft is going to have to land for the Germans so they're going to be out this turn and uh, but they'll be able to come back in next turn so um, where they land is going to be really important to them and um, I would think that they're all going to land in separate spots so they can refuel fast but as you can see, it pays to attack in force. So you want to, uh, the Americans want to keep attacking all of the fighters. The fighters want to avoid attacking and just going straight after the bombers. Now, once the bombers have dropped their payload, there's no reason to even chase them in the, in the basic game. Now, in the advanced game, uh, in the tournament game, there is a reason to go after them. And you get reinforcements throughout uh, the time, too. So a um, little different thinking. But uh, still the same uh, 20 turns for each quarter that you play in the tournament and advanced game. So as you can see, I, I think it's a fun game. I think it's, you know, a lot of thinking, a lot of planning, uh, making sure that your planes um, get out of the air, especially the Americans. The Americans got to worry if they drop a tank, drop their tanks. They got to make sure that when they drop them, they're close enough to the border to make it out. Because if they don't make it out and they lose the plane, they have to give back one of the bombing points. So they give back one of their uh, victory points. So it's very, uh, very um, solid management on all of your flying aircraft. So if you enjoyed this, please do like and subscribe to the channel. I'm glad that you uh, stuck with it this long. And hopefully we'll see you in the next round of battles from Luftwaffe. Take care.